bit more water this time. We crossed here a couple weeks ago out behind the old mill and it was uh, pretty much bone dry. Okay, so just in a little ways is where we finished up last time. Yeah, back here. So we were in here, I don't know, two, three weeks ago. We crossed the mill site and we went up, way up into the woods. We found logging stuff. And then on the way back down the hill here, there was some early 1900s junk and I dug two wheat pennies. So I've returned because I was thinking about it that when I continued leaving that day, I realized that this was a bit further back than I thought. And you can see the cart path and there's stuff out here, so. We have returned with the detector to give it a more thorough look around because I was leaving that day. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, cool. Clockwork. Nice little gear. Wasn't sure what that signal was going to produce. Well, this is one of those multi-layered spots. We have the mill. We have a logger's landing. I just didn't realize how spread out it actually was back here. And here we go. Oh, another piece of clockwork. Boy, this stuff is rings up beautifully, huh? Preserved jar lid. Definitely on to a patch of things. Big washer excitement. Big iron spike, or leg, or tool. We got it though. Almost washer excitement. Looks like it slipped and locked in to something. I'll tell you, it's nice walking into a site, even though it might be, you know, we're gonna dig a lot of junk. It's nice to uh, have that many signals right off the bat.
So now, oh, it's in the plug. And that is a hunk of, <clears throat> it's not my first, tube of shaving cream. You never know out here, that thing was deep. Oh, wow. That's quite the little mix here. Well, that's a first. So the first thing I spotted was the insulator for a preserve jar. And then a piece of sheet metal, a little piece of clockwork. And then this was the first. That's glass. And it's actually hollow. I have no idea what that is from. Unless it was a thermometer or something. I don't know. I've never, ever dug anything glass like that before. So that's actually really cool. Whatever it is. And a bottle cap. National Distillers. We've actually seen this before. And foil. Boy, what a mix. And grommet excitement. Nice signal, buddy. Well, so far, good fun. So, mill site, the in between loggers landing, and lots of stuff. Well, first bullet. That's a weird one. It is as light as wood. But ringing up. Oh, maybe it is. No, it's like a pot metal. Another thing. Whoops. Modern day, right? Yeah. Oh, what a drag, right? I mean, not like modern as in, you know, last year or that recent, but no, it's actually pretty old. And that, that is a little pocket knife. Clean that up a little bit. Yeah, there's a emblem on it. It says, it's got a flag, I can't read that, but it says, National Federation of Jewish something. Makes you wonder really though, how old is this? How long ago was it dropped? 
you know? That knife is actually pretty old. It seems a lot older than the keys, which it very well could be. That is the loss of the day and the find of the day. Crazy. I got it. I had a little bit of signal out here. So what the emblem says is National Federation of Jewish Men's Clubs. Started in 1929. I think they're actually still active, so this could be considerably old. The knife itself, to me, looks really old. Which it probably is. And the keys, I, I kind of can't tell. True Value has been around a long time. But I feel bad for the guy who lost these. But on this end, that was fun. It was good to land in this little zone where there were so many signals because, you know, some days I walk around for hours and only hear a couple things. So this was fun, and that's what it's all about. In the history, obviously. <laughs>